Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to episode 151 of Twisted Strands. Gonna be a quickie today, kids, not gonna lie. I am such a bad procrastinator that I still have to pack and get ready to go up to New Hampshire, where I will be staying from Wednesday to Sunday morning. Hopefully I'll get to meet Wendy and Sheila of the Knit One Heart Two podcast, and maybe you, if you live in that area. Um, but let me introduce myself before I forget and ramble on. <laughs> My name is Jeannie, but you can call me JD, or vice versa. I answer to both. And I close the door. <sighs> it, it's been a busy week of just really not doing much at all. Sincerely, I've yeah, I've been dropping things. I've been trying to clean. Sadly. Well, whenever I clean, it's kind of sad. Oh, uh, but, you know. I'm trying to open something here to show you some of my knitting plans. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. So, anyway, I'm still spinning the companion or second fly of this pretty super wash. If it'll ever. Uh, it's not gonna play nice, is it? No, you're gonna be a right bastard. Oh! Here, take a real close look. <laughs> I am spinning this wool. Totally not gonna let me. No. Anyway. <laughs> it's not gonna let me. Let you look. I'm still working on it. I do try to get in a little bit of spinning when I'm not trying to upright the house from the chaos that uh, the loss of a family member can do. Um, we're still chipping away at clutter and trying to get our heads back on our shoulders. Uh, well, not on the shoulders, on the neck. But you get the point. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, um... Um, I hate saying, um... Anyway, so, what have I been doing other than spinning away at that second ply? I have been cross-stitching. It's my relief because I still can't knit. Anyway, what I've finished most of the week with is this little clamshell thingamabob. And then later on this week, I started this cute little grassy stuff. Let me give you the full on picture of what it's supposed to look like so you're not looking at me like I've got three heads. A lot of talking about heads already. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in this area. In this vicinity is where I am. I have finished all of that. I think next I'll do this little shell or or this. But definitely one of those things I'm working on. So that's the cross stitch. And that's what I usually take to knitting nights, unless it's easy to get from my car to the table where we're sitting at using a spinning wheel. It is not easy. And I probably shouldn't be carrying around my spinning wheel because of my stupid tendonitis that I had in my elbow. Which is sad because it prevents me from knitting because I want that to heal something bad. So. Oh, what has been taking up my time? Well, other than the gobbledygook house cleaning and church going back at church after years of years of not. Same church I grew up with. I also got a new toy, and it's 
an iPad Air thingy. So, anyway, I was going to purchase it myself, but somebody in the house decided to get it for me. I don't know why, but I appreciate it. Thank you, Dad. And what is on here, look closely, is the calligraphy cardigan. And why do I have that up? Because my knitting group, the one I usually meet up with more because, well, they're more flexible in their times. Anyway, I, uh, blah. I participate in the forums a lot, and you can too. It's the 20 and 30 somethings stitch and bitch, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter how old you are, they let me in, and I'm 43. Uh, anyway, they're doing a sweater along in September. I have no idea if I can make an entire calligraphy sweater. Or hell, even a toddler sweater. Excuse me, so sorry. During that time. <laughs> but I'm certainly going to give it a chance. And I've got the yarn. I've got some Madeline Tosh in Stargazing colorway, which is gorgeous. And that calligraphy is what I'm going to knit with it. So I'm going to use swatch beforehand and wash the swatch. Swatch washing. <laughs> so I'll be doing that beforehand, but other than that, it's going to just be me probably re-damaging my arm. Don't worry, I'm not going to really damage anything with knitting up this pretty cardigan. So that's September for you. That is blocked away. <sighs> Thankfully it's simple so I can take it everywhere with me. But once I'm well again with the arm, I'm going to start chipping away at my whips beforehand. I purchased some yarn for one of the capes that is in the Harry Potter inspired interweave knits bookazine, I believe it's what it's called. I think it's the Grey Lady's Cloak. I think that's what it's called. Anyway. I ended up buying the exact same yarn from Webs for an awesome discount. They had their sale. So I bought that yarn and so that's what I'm going to do eventually. <laughs> Probably not before Rhinebeck, but yeah. Hey, at least I finished one sweater this year, right? That's pretty damn good. So anyway, that's the plan. It's going to be whips, swatch, spin, and try and keep up with some cross stitching at least. So that's what's going to go on starting the middle of August. I'm going to refrain from knitting and crocheting until the end of my time in New Hampshire. Then I'll pick it up again. Gently. <laughs> going to ease back in, you know, a few lines a day. Just a few. <laughs> I worry that once I pick it up, I won't put it down. But that's okay. I know, I can stop any time. I haven't picked up a stitch yet. Oh, and the cross that I want to crochet, you know, reverse engineer, I haven't touched it. But I know how I'm going to go about recreating the design. If I ever do release a pattern, it'll probably be free. Because not really original original, but it's not anything that you see on Ravelry, so. Somewhat original. Vintage? Whatever. Anyway, on to stuff and junk. I am excited to say I'm finally wiggling free of the household. I hope Dad's going to be okay. I think he should be fine. I'm going to check on him. But I'm going off... Ah, oh, nice little spot on my shirt. I'm going up to New Hampshire to visit my best friend from college, Joy, and it should be fun. 
hopefully I will be able to relax. <laughs> Not that I don't look relaxed right now. Sigh. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do this coming week. There will be spinning somehow. I don't know where my spindle is. Maybe I'll just lug my wheel. Who the fuck knows? I will give that a shot. Should be aggravating to our husband. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's see what else is there. Oh, what have I been watching? Not much unless you consider keeping my eyes on my iPad trying to learn about it and trying to figure it out. Figure it out. That has been fun, but a little frustrating because it's... I'm trying to really draw and do stuff and it's not like anything I've ever used before. It's not like a graphics tablet. It's... It's different and I love it, but at the same time I have trouble because I've got fat baby fingers. Not that that's a trap problem. But it is for me. Oh, um, I have been watch watching more of Supernatural, and it's fascinating. I keep waiting for the fucking apocalypse to hit, but it still hasn't shown up. Nobody is fighting demons or zombies in the great apocalyptic nature that I thought there would be. So I'm thinking to myself, what the hell, man? Start the fight already. <laughs> Even though I'm a knitter, crocheter, and spitter, patience, not my virtue. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I've been watching. Uh, I'm fucking my habitat. Well, I did do a lot. I I did vacuuming, I did mow the lawn yesterday, I did two loads of laundry. <sighs> I did a lot of stuff yesterday. So today I've just been kicking back and trying to do a painting on my iPad thing. So that's all I've been doing, really. Now I'm pooped, but I still need to pack. But you understand, right? Yeah. I'm the queen of procrastination. But I'm going to start that sweater on the fucking 1st of September if it kills me. Alright, maybe not if it kills me, but... I digress. Sorry. Anyway. <clears throat> I was going to do a review of the latest Simply Knitting magazine. But it's all the way over there and... I'm not wearing any pants, so it'll have to wait until next week. Do you mind? That's why you watch, isn't it? Do you mind? Anyway, ugh. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you to the people who have sent me letters and kindness and even a donation. Thank you so much. I thank you personally. And... I need to send out some thank you notes, and wow, thank you for joining me today. I so appreciate all of my listeners, from the people who watch every five weeks to the people who wait for the subscription notices to come on in YouTube. You can subscribe to YouTube, no, subscribe to my podcast on YouTube under my name, JD Dull. So please, subscribe. It's easy, it's free, and it'll let you know whenever I update. So, there's that. And that's fun. I subscribe to plenty of knitters on the YouTubes. And, well, that's it for right now. Kittens, genius tired and needs to go to sleep. But of course, I'm going to leave you with my favorite saying, no matter what you do when you craft, from toilet paper owls to the arsenic and old lace shawl in cobweb lace, you are making the world a more beautiful place and 
for that I thank you and thank you so much for joining me don't forget to hit that subscribe button I will see you in a week love you bye bye